And now, live from our studios in San Marcos, California, it's another episode of Fix Your Funnel Friday. And here's your host, Ryan Chapman. Welcome to Fix Your Funnel Fridays. My name is Ryan Chapman, and I uh, hope you enjoy that little intro music. There's a new series that we're going to be putting on to be able to tell you more about some of the things you can do with Infusionsoft that you may not have known how to do. So our first question today comes from Brent out of Utah. How do you create SMS surveys to trigger variable follow-up based on their answers? So we're going to go ahead and cover that. Um, SMS is a very powerful tool for letting people get information in a way where you can just kind of jump over the email inbox. I don't know if your email inbox is like mine, but it is a place that's not very fun to go to. SMS, on the other hand, is a place where we get to usually just converse with people in a friendly and fun way. So it's a great place to be able to get our messages if we're respectful of it. So the first thing, if we're going to be doing SMS surveys, we've got to structure our question in a way that the answers will allow us to use keywords as the answers. I'm going to go through an example in just a minute after we go through these key points. Next, we need to select smart keywords. What do I mean by smart keywords? Well, not supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. You know, hard, difficult words to type in. Even with spell check can sometimes be wrong, and then as a result, won't kick off our conversation that we want to have kicked off using the keyword. So make sure your keywords are smart. Make them simple for people to type in, easy for them to understand what you've said, and see how it relates back to the question or the answer that you're asking them to respond to. Next, decide what information is critical to collect. So as we're creating our SMS conversations, and if you're not already familiar with uh, Fix Your Funnel automated SMS conversations, it gives you the ability to have this back and forth with a person via SMS in an automated fashion. And so before we get going too far, we wanna decide what information do we wanna collect. Um, the survey in the first place is a really great, great way to engage somebody on SMS because it lets them start with not giving information, but rather giving answers to questions that are relevant to them allows you to then also be able to take that information that they gave you and give them information that's relevant for them versus giving them everything and have them sort out what's important. So this is really, it's good for them as well as it is for you. So decide what information you want to collect. Now, if we're going to be emailing a campaign, which was kind of implied in the question here by follow-up, generally speaking, in Fusionsoft, we think about email with follow-up. So if we're going to be sending follow-up emails, we need to gather the email at some point. So we need to decide if that's all we want, or if we'd like to ask for their first name, or is there an open-ended question we want to ask that continues the conversation of the survey answer. Next, we need to structure the SMS conversation so that they'll trigger um, the placement of a tag that can then trigger the sequence inside of Campaign Builder, or we can use legacy follow-up sequences as well in the SMS conversation. So those are the key points as we go through when we follow up this question all the way to the full answer. So here's a little example. Uh, this came from a member of our staff that's actually working on helping people with the relationship area, kind of a life coach type thing. And so the question was, where do you need more support? So that's a survey question, but we wouldn't give the question by itself if we're using SMS. We want to kind of direct people towards some key words. So in that case, he came up with four different potential answers where he would be able to service somebody. So where do they need more support? Letting them dictate where they need the help and then giving them four options so he kind of put those into four different containers or paths that could lead down to a specific follow-up that would be directed right towards their need. So in his case, he came up with four different answers. Gain greater balance in work and family, choosing healthy eating options, keeping focus on actions towards goals, or improving relationships. Now, obviously your business may be different and so you would have different question and different answers but try and follow along and see how would you respond to this? What would you say should be the keyword for gain greater balance in work and family? Now remember, we gotta select smart keywords. I'm gonna recommend for this one, we'll just go with balance. Now a helpful tip in this scenario is go ahead and type that word into your own smartphone or if you have an old dumb phone, then try the dumb phone and see how easy it is for you to type in the keyword and see if uh, autocorrect tries to change it to something else. That'll be an indication if your keyword's actually a good keyword to use. Next, choosing healthy eating options. You can go a couple directions here. You can say food or eating, but I think food would actually be easier. So we go food. Keeping focus on actions towards goals. Well, for me, that one seemed like that would make sense to go focus. 
And then finally, improve relationships. Now this one actually tested us here in the office as we talked about this one. What could you use for improving relationships? Improving is kind of a, a word that could be difficult for people to type in, and relationships is just way too long. So we came up with talk. So there's our keywords that we came up with for our question, balance, food, focus, or talk. Now, if I were gonna be presenting this, I really would want to avoid presenting this verbally only. We do, I wanna make sure I had some sort of visual aid to back it up. So in the case of this video right here, I'll go ahead and put the question up, and then I would put up the four different options, and then I would tell you what those four different options meant. So I'd say, okay, well, the first option is balance. If you need more support and balance, go ahead and reply balance to the phone number you see on the screen. And when you do, that means you're looking for more help in understanding how you can balance work and family. Next is food. So if you're having trouble picking healthy meals and you need more help with food than you would say balance, then reply food to the phone number you see above. And if your next option is focus, if you're having trouble focusing on what's actually gonna get you closer to your goals, then text focus to the number you see above. And finally, if improving relationships is where you need the most support right now, reply talk to the phone number you see above. Okay, so that's how I would do it in a sample scenario. I could do that from the, the stage. I could do that during a webinar. Um, those would be the two of the places I could do it. I could also even do it in direct mail. So I could send a direct mail piece that says, hey, if you're looking for more support in these four areas, reply or you know text the keyword, balance, food, focus, or talk to the phone number you see on this card. So we could use a number of different medias and it allows us to get very specific in terms of what they feel their greatest need is at the time. And when you talk to people more specific to what they need, then you get greater results. Now, if you'd like to get a video that goes in depth on how we would do the implementation actually in Infusionsoft as well as fix your funnel, then go ahead and text the word in to the, the, the phone number on the screen. I made it real simple for you. I N. if you'd like to get the next video that shows you more in depth how to do this inside of Infusionsoft and as well as fix your funnel. So just go ahead and text that to the number on the screen now if you'd like to get that video and I'll send it straight to your phone. I'm not gonna ask you for your email or your name or anything like that. I'm just gonna send it straight to you. And you can watch that video right on your phone and it'll show you how you can use, uh, or actually build out what I just showed you inside of Fix Your Funnel and Infusionsoft. Okay, now I need your help for next week. Next week on Fix Your Funnel, or How to Fix Your Funnel Friday, we're gonna be looking at one of these three things and I'll explain these keywords for you. The first one is inbound calls. So if you take inbound calls in your business, and you'd like to know how you could better handle those to make sure you don't miss any calls, then we'll be covering that next week if the most people vote for in. If you're more concerned about outbound calls, meaning you generate leads and then you want to follow up with those leads using outbound dialing, and you'd like to have that tighter integrated into Infusionsoft, then we'll talk about that next week if out wins. And if you have some other topic, go ahead and text other, and then afterwards you'll get a chance to tell me specifically what you'd like to see on the next upcoming Fix Your Funnel Friday video. So. At this time, if you have your phone out, go ahead and text in, out, or other to the phone number you see on the screen and let me know what you'd like to see in next week's Fix Your Funnel Friday.